Hi, my name is Doug McBride. Uh, I own and run Gravity Studios in Wicker Park neighborhood of Chicago. And uh, we've been in business 15 years recording uh, indie rock bands and uh, just bands. I'm here to show you some equipment we work with uh, daily. So this is the Barefoot MM27 Micro Main. Um, we use these as the mains uh, here at Gravity. Um, they're uh, a unique design that I think is pretty remarkable and the, we were I believe the second or third studio to jump on the bandwagon when they came out with these um, but they're now they've caught on like wildfire a huge list of uh, great engineers are uh, trusting these um, they're a unique design uh, because uh, as you'll see in a moment there's subwoofers um, two subwoofers built into each speaker um, in addition to the the drivers and the tweeter um, so it's basically a full spectrum system down to 27 hertz, which is pretty remarkable for a speaker this size. Um, the, uh, we found that the, the way the speakers are placed is, is uh, relatively important, perhaps because of the subwoofers on the sides. So um, in addition to wanting our ears to line up with the tweeters, um, uh, we just we like to uh, just basically have our ears line up right here. So we've got the speakers um, on these stands relatively low and we found that to be really uh, useful. Um, they also can be uh, used on their sides if, if necessary. It's hard for me to talk too much in too much detail about the specific technology. I mean, it's pretty unique stuff. But uh, what I can say is that um, we hear the frequencies um, so much more clearly that our mixes end up with more dimension and the low end ends up tighter. Um, and first and foremost, mixes translate well to uh, a variety of playback systems much better than they had when we had Genelec's uh, 1031 As, uh, which were the common speaker for so long. Um, you know, we still have the, the Yamaha and S10s uh, because certain engineers that come in here really like to have access to them, but um, I really feel that that information covered by these speakers is is covered by the barefoots. I'm uh, happy to proselytize about because they're uh, they're pretty uh, pretty transformational. Um, they uh, really take your uh, ability to dissect and, and hear and um, hear the effects of equalization, hear compression clearly, um, uh, hear uh, the full. Sp uh, stereo width and frequency spectrum better. Barefoots have been a huge um, a huge thing for our studio. Um, first and foremost you can see the on the sides here you've got a subwoofer. Um, the other side of the speaker is identical so there's two subwoofers um, uh, built into each speaker um, which is really clever. One of the things that's interesting about that is that um, they uh, counteract each other such that there's no vibration. So we have these on the sound anchor uh, speaker stands that were designed to work with these particular monitors. But for those that put them on, like we used to have them on our, um, over our old Neve, right on the uh, meter bridge. And they didn't move at all, even when they were playing full volume. I guess I've heard these described as a, a two-way plus subwoofer rather than a three-way design. It doesn't really matter what kind of design it is to me, they, they translate extremely well and translation is, is what it's all about as far as I'm concerned. I, I want to be told the truth by my speakers. Um, so these, uh, uh, there's no need for subwoofers with these monitors. They are, are relatively flat down to 28 hertz, I believe. Um, and so you, they present your low end with accuracy that's just uh, tremendous, barefoot good.